acting is very important. I mean, just take the cinematic masterpiece 22 Jump Street, for example. Imagine if they had a shit actor deliver one of cinema's greatest lines of all time. My name, yeah. I mean, the actor Channing Tateman, who is the greatest actor of all time, for saying this line, obviously know how important this line was, which is why he delivered it with, with, with such epicness. Unfortunately, not every film has a Channing Tateman to deliver a line the same way he delivered the line, my name is Jeff. Unfortunately, some people like to call themselves actors before they even learn the craft of acting and being able to say my name is Jeff, the same way our Lord and Saviour Channing Tateman did. Which leads to some, some, some cringe moments in movies, oh my god. So today we're going to be watching people absolutely epically fail at acting, laughing at their failure, right? Because that's what we love to do as humans, laugh at stupid dumb dumb people trying stuff and being shit at it. That's right. Let's do this. This isn't bad acting, this is just a man like doing the pog face because this woman is dead. So, can we just talk about the fact that this is the Italian Spider-Man? The fuck has no one told me that there's an Italian Spider-Man? My life has been changed. From this day forward, I will be the biggest fan of Italian Spider-Man and no one can fucking stop me. You see Pedro, with a great margarita comes a great pizza. What if Tomato Man from Tomato Town is actually Italian Spider-Man? He goes out every night to protect Tomato Town he got snapped away by Thanos in Fortnite, which is why the Tomato Town massacre happened. Oh my god, Obama, I just figured out why the Tomato Town massacre happened. Thank you very much, everybody. Guys, where's Ivan at? He's out on a date or something. Oh sh. Oh my goodness, this man is giving rednecks a run for their money. And he's taken being red to a whole new level. In fact, I think he's so red that he has actually created an, a, a new race, all right? The red race. You've got to be careful now because I don't want to be red, sis. You can have that one for free. You're welcome. Stop or I'll shoot. This is a good man, and if you took the time to get to know him, you would find that out. This, this is a good man, and if you took the time to get to know him, you would find that out. I didn't even think you could be that bad if you tried. Like, how the fuck did the director sit there, listen to her fuck up her line delivery, and go, right, yep, carry on rolling. And not only that, he decided to put it in the fucking movie. I dread to fear what the other takes for this shot could have been if he uses a footage like that. He wants to help us. He wants to help find cures for diseases. He wants to help find a cure for diseases like AIDS. Maybe that doesn't mean much to you, but it means a lot to people like me who have it. That's right, I have AIDS and it's advancing very quickly. Oh, that took a bit of a fucking fast turn. I feel like this woman is the type of person to like, show up to anything. It's not even about her at all. Somebody's having a fight, all right? And he's like, as a woman, I feel really threatened by this. Like, it, it's not about you. This motherfucker really showed up to save a vampire, announces that she has devastating chlamydia. <laughs> hey, stop this, stop this now. I have AIDS, you must not kill him. I don't have that much longer to live, and I will not hesitate to shoot someone for trying to kill Aurelius. Fucking love the guy it keeps coming back to, and his, like, fucking reaction to this whole ordeal. If I was in this situation, I would be fucking dead on the floor, just pissing myself, alright? But this guy somehow kept a straight face. Like, he's the best actor in here, alright? I, mean, I think they gave her the vampire, and they left so he could extract the AIDS from her. He's a vampire, but instead of sucking people's blood, he just sucks the AIDS out of people. Until the sequel, of course. Last vampire to the AIDS returns. It's basically like Twilight, just everybody has AIDS. What do you want, man? FBI. What do you want? What the fuck is this shit, right? I, I know the actors are shit, but I, I kind of feel bad for them because the writers are on crack as well. Like, who the fuck responds to a question of what do you want if FBI? Like, what? Wait, how, how is that meant to help your investigation? It's like, yeah, we, we're looking for something. And he's like, oh yeah, what are you looking for? Yeah, I'm part of the FBI. John, I want a divorce. Divorce. Not funny, John. Hey, here we have uh, two, I don't even know what to call them. One of them's insane, he's basically the Joker. The other one is basically a robot AI who is like malfunctioning and isn't acting human anymore. They've been told to do an improv class where they're getting a divorce. For some reason, the guy's reaction to this is to just laugh uncontrollably, but because he's such a shit and awful actor, he, 
he can't even laugh properly. So you've got him, and you've got the other one who just doesn't show any emotion at all. So I'm not laughing anymore with you, and I'm not playing these games. My lawyer's gonna contact yours tomorrow. I'll drop the papers, and that'll be it. I'm gonna lie, he kind of reminds me of Bill Clinton, but if he was, like, constantly on crack and was just driven to the point of insanity where he didn't give a shit anymore. He also hates his wife. Basically, Bill Clinton. We can go our separate ways. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't go... No. <laughs> This man is basically like a broken record. For some reason, his brain can only form enough functionality to decide to do one of three things. Either look around like a dumbass, laugh like a dumbass, say no. But that's all you're gonna get from this guy's riveting and thought-provoking portrayal. Brain-dead husband. I know, the last I know. time we had a conversation? 15 years and all I've heard from you is laughter. Every time I want to be serious! This guy is secretly a genius and he's created a character that can only communicate with laughter and to show something about like mental health. Like, secretly, this guy is crying out to his wife to let him buy some V-Bucks and allow themselves to buy the UCS Millennium Falcon. But his wife just thinks that she's a dumbass because all he does is laugh at him. But secretly, he's the dumbass for wanting to spend 600 quid on a Lego set that does nothing. Seriously, it does fuck all. Still rather have that than a wife though. Look, I mean, a wife may be useful. A wife may have thick curves. It will never compare to the curves of the UCS Millennium Falcon. Oh, baby. Maybe you can get both of them. Then you've got, like, something that cleans the thing that you look at. Big brain in here. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! <gasps> I have no idea what the fuck I just witnessed, but you know, it, it was a fucking roller coaster, let me just tell you that. Trying to piece together what actually just happened. So she started out like surprised. I thought she was shocked because she was like, oh my god, you know, there's kind of the thing that you do when you're like surprised. She's, she turned into like one of those kids on Children in Need and started going like, woo, woo, woo. She decided to jump on the wall and then she just started crying. Like, that's like four different fucking emotions. It just left me there like, what the fuck just happened? What was the director's direction? Like, okay, so you're gonna start off screaming, then you're gonna you're gonna do some things with your arms, you're gonna jump on this wall right here, you're just gonna break down and start crying, all right? I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. I can't believe I actually unironically liked this film. Like, I used to say it was good, only to piss off my friend, but there was a point where I actually thought it was like, actually fucking good. It's like I turned to the dark side, just, just, you know, just to please myself, just to troll people, you know? It's called a little bit of trolling. Can we do a little trolling? But then it actually corrupted my brain to think that this was a good movie. Like, it, it, the, what the fuck is this shit? Like, this is the shit that they do in this movie. Like, the... This is not how you talk to women. Like, I don't really know how to talk to women. It's quite evident, to be honest. This is not how you talk to women. If I went up to a woman and went, I don't like sand. It's coarse, rough, irritating, and it gets everywhere. I think she would be like, the fuck is this psychopath doing? Did he just escape, like, Arkham Asylum? What the fuck is going on here? She would probably run away thinking that exact same thing which I just said. Not, you know, oh my god, this handsome young man just said he doesn't like sand. Oh, I'm gonna let him put that fucking lightsaber in me tonight. All right, like, nobody would say this, all right? And it gets even worse, because later on in the movie, he goes and kills a bunch of kids and fucking tells her, and she still fucks him. She still fucks him. How do you fuck a man who literally told you he killed kids. Now, I know how to get a girlfriend, all right? Listen, it's easy. Tell her you don't like sand, then go and tell kids, then tell her that you killed not just the men, but the women and the children too. There you go. Girlfriend acquired. Anyway, thank you gamers for coming along today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm trying to make longer videos, so I'm branching out into different types of content. So if you do enjoy this one, please tell me. You know, I'm trying to get better at making these videos. Please, got any criticisms? Tell me, trust me. I won't cry like a little bitch. Anyway, gamers, thanks for coming along today. I salute you. You are all epic gamers. And yeah, farewell.